Hello, hello, and welcome to another bingo guide. So, bingo has just started about two minutes ago, and before I make a profile, I do want to spend my bingo points. I want to upgrade my bingo rank to bingo rank 3. So now we're going to get the effects in our bingo as soon as we create a profile. If you want to join the Discord server for free god splashes, the Discord will be in the description below. Okay, now our bingo profile has been created. Okay, and we now have the god splash. So we're going to start off by mining some wheat just to get a little bit of money. We also start with a personal compactor this time so that's really nice. Okay and farming 7 is where we're gonna stop. We're gonna sell all of our crops and then we'll get our tools. Okay we have our tools and we have them enchanted. I got splashed with grand xp bottles. We're gonna instantly warp desert and mine sand until mining 5. Now that we're mining 5 we're gonna warp deep and now we're just gonna mine gold until we have the cleaver recipe. And that's the cleaver recipe. So we're going to go ahead and instantly craft that. And I'm also going to upgrade it too. We have enchanting level 10 now. So I'm going to go do the experimental table. The experimental table is made with one experience bottle that you can buy from the librarian. And also eight oak logs. So we're going to craft the experimental table. Go to our island and do the first super pair. So we ended up getting quite a bit of XP. This should get us to level 17 there we go we got level 17 and leveling up all the way there gave us 300k and i'm gonna put all that money in the bank because i don't want to lose it now we're back in the deep caverns and i need to mine lapis i need 10 enchanted lapis and then i'm gonna mine 10 enchanted redstone and 10 enchanted coal so i can get into the dwarven mines okay and there's the enchanted lapis lazuli recipe okay and that gives me 11 enchanted lapis which is more than I need. And now we're going to go ahead and mine some redstone. And we just got combat 2. I'm going to quickly get to combat level 3 here. That took no time at all. And that's so I can buy Rosetta gear after I'm done mining redstone and coal. So we're in the pigment's den. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom towards Slime Hill. And this area here is the best area to mine redstone. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Okay, and there it is. Enchanted redstone. Now hopefully we have enough here. Okay, we have nine, but what we can do is go to the hub and go below the builder and we can just buy a little bit of enchanted redstone because I'm lazy. And that should be enough to hit the ten enchanted. There we go. So now we have the redstone and the lapis. Now we just need the coal. So the way we do this is we warp gold and come into the first room here. We mine all the coal and once we've done that, we end up doing slash hub and repeating the whole process again. So we can infinitely mine coal and just get this done as quick as we can. Okay, and we're done with enchanted coal now. That gives us six enchanted coal. So we're in the hub now and we're going to go to the mine merchant and buy all of this coal and see how close that gets us to the enchanted. Okay, that got us 10 enchanted coal. So we're going to warp deep and we're going to go all the way to the bottom of the mine and give the resources to Rai. Okay, so we're giving the resources to Rai and we need mining 12. So we're going to warp desert and we're going to mine until we are level 12. Okay, and that gets us to mining 12. And giving the resources allows us to go into the Dwarven Mines. So we're going to start off by spending our first token, putting it into mining speed. And now we're actually going to get our first bingo goal complete. So we're in the real palace now. And if we go straight through this room, follow the red carpet, we'll see the puzzler. Now if I spam the puzzler a little bit, there we go. The green block appears and the bingo goes complete. So that is a puzzler solver. That is on Bad Lion Client. So we're going to buy a Fractured Mithril Pickaxe here for 10k coins. And we're also going to craft a Diamond Pickaxe here. I'm going to go back to the hub and enchant my weapons. Okay, we put Efficiency and Fortune on our Diamond Picks and the Fractured Mithril Pickaxe. But I'm also going to put Silk Touch on the Gold Axe. And that's because I want to mine Mushrooms and get the Mushroom Collection done pretty quickly. There we go. So now I'm just going to buy 24 red mushroom and that's the full set. I'm just going to put that on and now I'm going to put growth 5 on it. Okay and now the full set has growth and prod so we're going to put that on and that should be another bingo go complete. I'm going to come back to the mines and I want to talk to this NPC. One of the challenges, we need to craft a aspect of the end and you need one enchanted diamond for that and I don't feel like mining diamonds. So one way to get an enchanted diamond is doing this quest. So we just need to come here every 20 minutes 
IRL. And we're going to start mining for our commissions. Now, I'm not going to show myself mining for all commissions because this is boring and everyone knows how to do commissions. We're just going to do the four daily ones and then I'll come back. Okay, so I was killing Ice Walkers and I got to combat 12. But the reason why I was killing Ice Walkers is because there was a commission. I had to kill Ice Walkers. And that's also my fourth daily commission. That gets me to 1,500 Heart of the Mountain XP out of 9k. I do need to get to Heart of the Mountain 3 to enter the Crystal Hollows. I'm going to do tomorrow's dailies and the day after that. But for now, we're going to go and enter the end. Okay, now we're in the end. We're going to talk to the Lost Adventurer. And I want to kill five of his Endermen. Now, it might be a little hard because I haven't reforged any of my armor. But I'll see how hard it is and then I'll reforge my armor if I need to. So far, I'm handling my myself pretty well that is five kills so we're going to come over to the lost adventurer i need to withdraw some money because we're going to need to buy the void sword there we go now i'm going to reforge this enchant this and reforge our armor too and then i'll be back we're going to buy the first talismans from the shop and then pick a talisman power to give us more strength okay after that dialogue we can go with the warrior power and we need to put the talismans in the accessory bag and now we can farm enderman pretty easily and hopefully drop some armor Okay, we dropped our first Ender Helmet. We're going to put that on. We will need to reforge this and put some enchants on it first. Okay, and now we have Fierce and Growth as well as Protection on the Helmet. And if we warp End, the goal will probably get complete. Now I do want to reforge the sword to something better and that is spicy and now I'm just going to kill Enderman until I have full Ender Armor. Okay so we're now in full Ender Armor, it didn't take too long, we've reforged it all and got enchants on it. But I do want to quickly just empty my Ender Chest, I have way too much sand in here so... I figured I might as well just craft some of the uniques and that gets it to tier 4 pretty quickly. We also have a bunch of cobblestones so I'm going to go to my island and upgrade this minion. And that gets it to tier 4. Now I'm going to mine some wheat for a little bit because I want to get a wheat minion down. Okay there's tier 1, tier 2. Should be able to make tier 3 and tier 4. There we go. We're going to see how far we can take the mushroom minion. And we can take it to tier 3. And we also can craft a mithril minion. And get it to tier 2. We're going to do the same with redstone. We can get that to tier 2. And we're also going to get a bunch of gold. And see how far we can take this minion. Tier 3, not bad. And we only need another 3 unique crafts. This goal is very fast to complete. And we just unlocked the Neverwalk minion there. So we're going to go to the Alchemist and buy a bunch of Neverwalk here. And see how far we can get it, hopefully, tier 3. Tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3. And there's the goal complete. And now we're at the Trapper's Den. We're going to talk to Trevor and hunt an animal. Okay, we're doing another one because I just generally couldn't find the mob. The mob we're finding now is right here. So I just need to kill it. And that's the bingo goal complete. And now I'm going to go ahead and swap to the cleaver and kill cows until I have leather collection free. Then I can craft a small backpack. Okay, so... We have leather collection free now, and we can craft the backpack. There we go, and that's another bingo go complete. Now I'm also going to set up a chicken minion, just so we can start to get the chicken collection done. Okay, so we just got a splash, and you might notice all the bright yellow waypoints around the map. Those are fairy souls. There is a fairy soul goal, and we need to obtain 25 fairy souls. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Now I'm not going to show myself getting the fairy souls because it's easy and it's just going to be boring to watch. I just have waypoints to all the fairy souls just like this one here. And that's 1 out of 25 done. Okay, and there's the fairy gold complete. Okay, and we're now in the spider's den, and we're going to be getting a couple goals done here. So the first thing we need to do is unlock the spider hat. Now that's a 250 spider eye collection, so we've got quite a bit of grinding to do. We also need to spawn arachne. For that, we need arachne calling. So I'll come back once I have all of that. 
Okay, and just like that, we got our first Arachne's Colon. Now, I only need one to technically spawn it, but if I spawn it by myself, then I'll need all four. I still don't have the spider arrive, so I need to keep grinding this anyway. Okay, we unlocked the spider heart, so we're gonna go ahead and craft that. We also have four Arachne's Colon, so we can spawn it by ourselves. There's already an Arachne here, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit of damage. Just so I can get some spider essence. The reason why I want spider essence is so I can 5 star the spider hat. Okay, I'm spawning Arachne now. Hopefully I don't get hit because I am a one shot. And there's the go done. So now I'm going to work on getting the spider hat to 5 star. For that I need 200 spider essence. Okay, we're in the dungeon hub now. And I want to see how far I can upgrade my spider hat. So we're going to go to essence crafting, upgrade items and put the spider hat in there. So one star, two star, and that's all we can take it to so far. So it looks like we're going to have to spawn a few Arachnes. So I'll be back once I have quite a bit more essence. Okay, we just got done with hopefully our last Arachne. I'm going to warp dungeons, take off my spider hat, and hopefully I'll be able to get this to five star. There we go. We got it to five star. You don't need too much essence. I think it's about a hundred spider essence. And you can get that pretty easily by doing arachne. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and kill Enderman until we hit 25,000 enderpearl collection. And that's of course to craft the aspect of the end. So this is gonna be fun. Okay, so day one of bingo is nearly over. I ended up going offline after the Enderman clip, but I came back online and I got my my enderpearl collection to 25k which means we can now craft the aspect of the end i don't have the enchanted diamond or the eye of enders yet but i did grind the enchanted enderpearls so we have all this enchanted enderpearls here and we have a bunch of blaze powder from the alchemist and i'm going to be able to buy 10 more stacks of blaze powder in like 40 minutes but for now we're just gonna craft as many enchanted eyes as we can so that got us 10 and we need 32 in total the next thing i want to do is in the hub i want to buy some spider eyes from the alchemist as well as a brewing stand and some water bottles we're gonna buy two stacks and a half just so i can craft an enchanted spider eye so the way you want to get glowstone is by going to the builder and just buying the block and then placing it on your island and breaking it there we go. Okay, so I messed up and I made these into awkward. You're not supposed to do that. You want to use normal water bottles and then put the enchanted spider eye in here. Once you've done that, you want to add the glowstone and then you should have the potion ready. And there we go. So I just take that out and that's the bingo go complete. Also, I do have chicken minions down with an OAFK ingot and this is for the crafting pet goal. Once I have nine stacks of eggs, I'll be able to craft a pet. I'm going to craft the Jerry pet. I also have some zombie minions placed down here. That is for the zombie collection. What I'm going to start now though is the garden. So I'm going to click the stranger. I do have a few carrots here already, but I'm going to have to go back into the hub and get a few more carrots. I'm not going to show a lot of the garden just because because I'm going to follow the tutorial first, but after the tutorial, I'll be showing my progress. Okay, so I have farmed all the carrots. I've got 50 enchanted. I also have a bunch of tasty cheese. So I'm going to be taking advantage of that and putting that in the minions. Every time I come to this location, there's just a rat. There's a rat just right there. And then I kill it. And then I get more tasty cheese. Now we're going to go to the garden and I want to paste in my carrot farm. So we're going to configure plot, plot one, and then we're going to use the 50 enchanted carrots to basically get the farm up. So once this is done, we're going to farm the 200,000 carrots. We also need to unlock the good visitor so we get a bunch of copper. A replenish hoe is going to be really nice here. Okay, and the carrot farm is now done. What I want to do is look at our unlocked visitors and just see how many we have. Okay, so we're in the book now, and if I look at unlocked, we only have three. So we want a low amount so we can hopefully get the good visitor so to get the good visitor unlocked you want to warp forge and you want to talk to the drone mechanic once he visits the garden he wants to give you 25 or 30 copper for just one compost and compost is very easy to get okay i just got back to the garden i got a splash and we do have the visitor here so if i click the visitor he wants free compost for 30 copper now that 30 copper is enough for a replenish hoe 
So what I'm going to do is go to the hub and farm some crops so I can make compost. Now it doesn't take too much. You need a bit of fuel and you need 4,000 organic matter to make one compost. So we're going to need 12,000 organic matter okay so we're in the hub now and we're just gonna farm wheat until we have maybe a stack of enchanted seeds and i think that'll be enough at least hopefully it'll be enough okay we're back in the garden i'm just gonna put all the crops into the composter and see how much that gets okay that's 10k we nearly have enough we just need 1.4k but i do want this to start working so i'm gonna need to buy more fuel from the sky mark there we go. So it takes 10 minutes to make one, so that's why I wanted to start it now rather than later. But I am going to quickly get the last 1.4k. Okay, while we wait for the compost to be done, I'm in the mines of Devon. The reason why I'm here is because I want to mine some emeralds. I want to make the emerald ring for that bingo girl. So we're just going to be using this emerald cart over here because it's infinite. Okay, and we're done. So we're now going to craft this and get the gold done. While I'm in the Dwarven Mines, I want to talk to the Bednom guy. So I think this is the third time I've talked to him. So I should be able to get the treasure. Okay, so now I'm going to go get the treasure. Now the reason why we want this is for the enchanted diamond. Because we're going to need it for the aspect of the end craft. And I really don't want to have to I just went the wrong way I don't want to have to mine diamonds so the chest should be I think it's here there we go so we get enchanted diamonds out of that and mithril as well as gold and some titanium also I think it is time to buy blaze powder maybe uh yeah I can buy more blaze powder now now I'm just gonna go to the enchanted pearls and see how many I can make it should be 10. There we go. So we got another 10 there. We just need 12 more. And I'm going to put the enchanted diamonds right here. I'm also going to see the eggs. Okay, we have enough eggs. So if I just craft this into an enchanted. And now I click Jerry. So I can move him. Now I'm going to move him close to a chest. Just so I can put a Jerry egg in the chest every time. It's a, a little more quicker if I do it this way. And then you just put it all around the crafting table and in the middle you put the enchanted egg and that's the go done so now we don't need the chicken minions anymore and i'm gonna put down more zombie minions for the zombie collection okay i've now moved the zombie minions and i have eight down so we should get our collection done a bit quicker i am gonna put tasty cheese in these just to make it a bit more quicker i can also daily buy some rotten flesh and upgrade some of the minions that don't have a storage but what i should do is just unlock small storage at least our rotten flesh collection is already 3.3k okay and we do have the free compost here and then i'll have the 30 copper now i think i need a garden level to actually buy the replenish hoe yeah so i need garden level 3 to buy it so we're gonna have to farm i've put an oat at the garden so what i'm gonna do now is while that's afk in, i'm gonna go do one of the other goals and i'm thinking about the goblin one i have to kill goblins to get eggs from the dwarven mines and hopefully spawn a golden goblin okay i already got one goblin egg i wonder if i can get it on the first throw that would be kind of insane i'll throw it around to oh i got a second egg too and a third egg i'm just gonna throw them and see if i get it i didn't that's kind of sad. Okay, so we took nine eggs to get the goal complete. That actually didn't take too long at all. But there's another goal complete. I'll see if I can quickly get garden level three, but I have no idea how long it's going to take because they're not all grown. Okay, there's garden level three. So I'm going to have to plant all these carrots back. Okay, we have the crops all planted again. And what we can do now is go to the sky mart and buy the replenish hoe. One thing I do need to do is put harvesting on this, just for the extra farming fortune. There we go, harvesting five. Okay, this reforge gives us an extra four farming fortune, so we'll take this. I'm also going to swap to farm armor. You make this with 24 hay bales, it's very easy. And this also gives us another 20 farming fortune altogether. Okay, so I just got the 200,000 carrot collection bingo go done. I also got a rat pet from killing the pests, so that was pretty cool. But I still need to get farming level 20. So I'm going to have to keep farming carrots. This go didn't take too long. I harvested my farm three times. And in that time, I was getting about 70k collection per. 
Okay, and that is the farming go done. Looking at our bingo card, we only have four more goals to do. So we have the rotten flesh collection go. We need to fish and get the dolphin pet, craft the aspect of the end, and reach 50,000 gemstone collection. Now we're going to do all four of those goals tomorrow. So look forward for that video. But this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed the guide, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.